Do you sell shirts on Etsy and wonder how in the world you can compete with the low price competitors that are selling $10 t-shirts? Then this video is for you. If you're new here, my name is Cassie Johnson and I'm a full-time Etsy seller and now Etsy coach. And in under two years, I was able to sell over $550,000 worth of t-shirts on Etsy. So let's jump in and find out a little bit more on how to price your items to get sales. This is probably the most asked question here on my YouTube channel, and that's how do I compete with the people selling $10 and $12 t-shirts when I really need to sell mine at about $25 just to make a profit. So let's jump in and actually take a look at some of the pricing that people have on Etsy to understand it a little bit better, and then make sure to stay until the end because I'm gonna go over the three most popular pricing strategies so you can decide which one to implement in your store. So to better understand how to price your items, you need to first understand how other people are pricing theirs in your competition. So I went to Etsy and I typed in women's t-shirts just to get some general t-shirt niches up here to see how other people are actually pricing their items. So this one right here, you can see in the search results, is $9.67 for this t-shirt. But let's actually click on it and find out what that means. So when I click on it here and you look at the sizing, most of their t-shirts are $14.92, $16.42. The only item in this entire listing, that's the $9.67, is this 2T toddler shirt. And it's actually only that price in color red. All the other colors are actually $15. And so what they're doing is clickbait. So there's one item in here that costs $9.67, and so that's what Etsy shows on its main search screen. And so the t-shirts, if you're comparing to your actual t-shirts, let's say they bought a medium shirt, it's $14.92, but then they're also charging $4 in shipping, so this really is a $19 shirt, not a $10 shirt. And so you have to really understand what other people are doing. So it's not actually being sold as a $10 t-shirt. But there's lots of different ways that people do that. Like let's take this one for instance. It says $12.99 for the shirt. But if we actually click this, the only one for sale that is that price is a kid's t-shirt in size small. Their t-shirts are actually $24.99 for small and even more expensive, $28 for extra large. So this one is actually more expensive than what a lot of people actually have this for. It's free shipping. You can see this one is 20 in the cart and is a best seller, even with the t-shirts costing 26, 27, $28. So hopefully that really shows you that it doesn't matter what the price is. People are here to buy what they are passionate about and what they're interested in. Now you don't always have to have it be like a kid's shirt be the low pricing. Uh, you could even just do like your extra small or your small as a cheaper pricing in one color if you wanted to kind of replicate what these sellers are doing as well. I think it's really important to understand what people come to Etsy to actually buy. So Etsy is a platform where people come to buy unique and personalized items. And they're typically coming here to buy a gift for someone. And so if someone's coming to buy a gift, they're not typically looking for the cheapest item out there. They're looking to buy something that's really special, really nice quality that they can give to someone they love, or they're looking for a really cool, unique item that they can wear and show off while they're wearing it. So if you really focus on finding niches that people are passionate about, finding designs that are trendy and in style this year, not just look good and look fine to you, but are actually in the trends and are popular this year, then you can do really great. And if you focus on your SEO, your titles and your tags, and can show up in those search results that are people are already buying for, then you're going to make sales regardless of the price that you put on your t-shirts. 
I've seen best-selling t-shirts going for $31 per shirt, but if you don't put that work in in the beginning and find niches that are already bestsellers, do trendy designs, great SEO, great mock-ups, then it doesn't matter what you price your t-shirts at, they're not going to sell. So I think that's a really important part to understand about selling on Etsy. So if you're not getting sales in your store right now, then I wouldn't be worried as much about the pricing. I'd go back and take a look at your store and think, are you actually being competitive with the mock-ups that you're using, the types of designs that you're making, and the SEO that you've chosen to advertise your products with on Etsy? Because Etsy is a great platform. One of the biggest benefits is that there's free organic traffic that you can tap into and get sales from. You shouldn't have to pay for any ads or do any social media to get sales on Etsy. If you do it right, you should be able to let it run on autopilot just by people searching for things that they want and then finding you organically in the search results. So there's really three main pricing strategies when you're selling print on demand on Etsy. So I price all of my items accordingly to the actual print provider that I use, which is Printify. So if you're using a different print provider like Printful that is more expensive, you'll need to look at this pricing and make sure that it gives you a big enough profit margin as well. So the first pricing strategy is for your t-shirts and that is for Bella and Canvas 3001, the Gildan 5000, or the Gildan 64000. All of these, this pricing strategy works well for and that's charging $24.99 for the shirt and offering free shipping. Now Etsy says they do give you a boost in the algorithm for offering free shipping and you get a nice free shipping badge in the search results when people are looking. The other benefit to this is if someone actually uses the sorting tool on the side of the Etsy search, they can sort by only items that have free shipping. So you could potentially be coming up in more search results if people are using those filters. This has been my pricing strategy for over a year. I just list them at $24.99 with free shipping and I have sold thousands of t-shirts in the last year. So definitely do not underestimate the fact that people are willing to buy what they love and what they're looking to buy. The price, a $25 t-shirt is not unreasonable. People pay that every day at different stores around the country. So why not with you on your Etsy store? The second pricing strategy is the break-even strategy. So this is going to be where you price your item for sale before it's ever sold at about your break-even pricing. I do sell an income and expense report that has a built-in Etsy profit calculator, and this calculates all the Etsy fees for you if you type in what price you wanna sell the item at, so you can make sure that you're not losing money on each sale. I think if you can get close to break even but not losing money, that'd be where I would start, maybe even adding a couple dollars in for actually paying taxes at the end of the year is a good idea as well. So just to give you an idea, you might wanna price your item at about $16.99 with free shipping. That should be about most people's break-even price with Printify, adding a little bit for the Etsy fees. And then you would actually raise the price of the item $1 every single time it sells. So this is what the strategy is trying to get you sales right when you post it because if you can get a few sales and a few reviews on your listing right in the beginning when you list it, then it's much more likely to take off and get shown to more people. And to change your prices when using this strategy, you'd wanna use the Etsy bulk editing tool. So when you're on your actual listings page, you can select the box next to that listing and on the top right, you'll see bulk editing options and you can say edit price increase by $1. And what this will do is it'll increase every size by $1 and won't change them all to the same price. So if say you're doing a different price from small to extra large and then two XL a dollar more and three XL another dollar more, this will increase all of those prices by one. So the last pricing strategy is the clickbait strategy that I showed you at the beginning of this video. So that's where you have one item that is less expensive to kind of clickbait people into thinking your shirt is less expensive. So if you're doing two or three colors per listing like I do, you could make the size small or extra small in just one of those colors, less expensive like $9.99 or $12.99. 
and then you'd make the rest of your shirts actually $16.99 for the shirt price. And then what you can do is actually charge $7.98 for shipping. So what this does for you is you can actually turn on the free shipping guarantee that Etsy offers. So if someone spends $35 or more in your shop, they get free shipping. And what this does is still give you that boost in the algorithm for offering free shipping, but then they're actually paying for it. So if someone buys one of your t-shirts for $16.99 plus $8 in shipping, they're still paying you that same $25, but the items look less expensive in the search results. Now if someone buys two t-shirts from you, at $16.99, that's actually only $34 for the two shirts, so they would not yet qualify for free shipping. The only time someone would get free shipping is if they purchased three or more shirts from you, and then in that case, you are getting a lower price margin. So this is not as good of a strategy for you if you're selling lots of group items. So if you're selling tons of bachelorette shirts and group shirts, this might not be the strategy for you. If you're doing a lot of individual shirts, just one at a time, that is when this strategy can really come in handy. You could also use the clickbait strategy in one of the other pricing styles. If you're charging $25 for most of your shirts, but you charge $18.99 for just one color in one size, just to clickbait people into the listing, you're welcome to try that as well. You'll have to decide which way you want to price your items, and you'll have to kind of split test it and figure out what works best for you and the way that you want to do business. You can really make a lot of money selling print on demand on Etsy in any of these pricing strategies. Again, I, for a long, long time, have been doing $25 a shirt plus free shipping and have gotten plenty of sales. So again, I will just drill that in one more time. If you're not getting sales, it's probably not the price that you're pricing them. You really wanna do more research on what niches that you're in. Are people actually looking to buy that right now? Are there current bestsellers? Are there 20 in the cart? Are your designs actually competitive with what's popular this year? Are you doing the retro designs, the retro fonts, retro colors, little peace signs? That's what's selling well this year. If you're not selling things in that style, you aren't going to be getting as many sales as other people. And then again, you wanna make sure you have amazing mock-ups and great SEO. And if you do all of that right, again, the price should not matter. I hope this video was helpful for you. Comment down below which pricing strategy you like or which one you're going to try. And I have a link in my description below for my one-on-one -on -one 30 minute coaching calls. Those are still available at this time. We can go over getting you ready for Q4. We can take a look at your Etsy shop and see how your pricing and your niche selection and your designs are looking. Or you can even book just a full private shop review where I spend 30 minutes actually recording myself, going through all your listings and giving you advice one by one. So those are available down in the description, but please take a moment to like this video and subscribe if you've gotten value from my videos so far. I appreciate everyone who has supported my channel since I started it just almost five months ago now. I really appreciate all of you more than you could know, and I'll see you in the next one.